Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and thank you very much for your loyalty, likes and shares and uh, I really appreciate it, thank you, thank you and welcome to my new uh, viewers uh, welcome to the channel and I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all and like and share remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign if you would like to uh, have an extended reading anybody you've got the information below and in the top right hand corner click on that I and then you will be taken to the website we uh, um, just a few things um, that we've got two moons this month and that is on the first and on the 31st so there is a blue moon because there's two moons in one month okay this reading is for the 28th to the 4th of October we've just entered the energy of Libra or the zodiac sign Libra and have a look at the video that I made on the Libra energy and also um, have a look at your romance reading if you like to find out more about romance also I'm using this week the pagan ways and the everyday witch we, because we are heading on to Halloween there's also a new series started with the English witch Georgina um, have a look at that it is not uh, uh, all about witch stuff it is about the environment and uh, loads and loads of lovely things being um, talked about in the witch series okay and I'm also using the Queen of the Moon Oracle uh, deck and also the Angel Feather and Answer of the Angels so let's get started we've just entered Libra like I said autumn and the May Bond Festival the fall equinox so we've only got three months to Christmas as I'm taping this on the 24th in three months time to the day uh, we will be on Christmas Eve whoa nice one well let's first get a trick-or-treat done and uh, St. Martin and uh, Halloween the first card that I have is the two of pentacles um, you might be out of balance you might be trying to balance between home and work or heart and mind or heart and soul you also might be trying to balance your finances let's see what this could mean for you it could also be balancing between home life and if you're not hooked up between your uh, love life by going out trying trying not to burn the candle on both ends and then that will put you out of your balance as well because then you're more tired and you can't enjoy life so whatever uh, resonates with you we have the page of swords and the page of swords um, represents Aquarius so you might be this might be concerning a friendship with Aquarius uh, trying to keep the balance uh, spending more time with this uh, person this friend that's an Aquarian but don't forget Gemini or Libra the page of swords also represents news perhaps one of the air signs will send you news or give you an invitation or bring you news but this could also be uh, from anybody it could even be official news from an institution a municipality or anything like that could be from the bank saying um, please will you ba uh, balance your bank account okay simple as that we've got the nine of cups on Wednesday and the nine of cups means that there will be a wish coming true 
There is an ending to perhaps financial difficulties and a new beginning. You have the Seven of Wands here and here you are um, you might feel that you have to defend yourself in some way or rather. Perhaps you might have to, you feel that you have to defend yourself towards uh, the bank, if the bank owed income tax. Yes, have a look what the news is about, have a look really specifically, get things clear before you start defending yourself. You are quite used standing with two feet solidly on the ground. You are stronger than you think. In some cases you don't have to defend yourself, especially with friends or in relationships. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't have to defend yourself. Friends should know you and understand you. So walk away from other people's drama and think about it before you start defending yourself or justifying yourself that is what I'm hearing here Taurus if uh, like real friends they like I said they will understand you but you don't you know when you say no they should accept that and you shouldn't start explaining why you can't do it okay but abundance is here. There is an end to difficulties. Your wish is coming true. So you can celebrate with friends. We've also got the Ten of Cups. So you're moving up from the Nine to the Ten. Happy families. Perhaps reunion with family and friends. With certain friends that do understand you. That do take you the way you are. Perhaps there was an, uh, a friend that um, you haven't seen for a long time because they didn't understand you and because you didn't defend yourself. They just said, okay, and they didn't understand you. They were agitated and now you're getting news from one of these friends and they want to come back. Think twice, are they really your friend? There was an ending and there was a new beginning again a 10 an ending a new beginning make sure that you become choosy who choose who your friends are and get to know them okay okay you might be extending your uh, family this could be a child this could be a dog or a a cat or an other kind of pet you definitely have victory so if you haven't had a job you might get to hear that you have the job for that interview you went to this is a wish coming true you don't have to defend yourself because you've done that in the interview you've explained yourself why you wanted this job why you would be fantastic for this firm and they have appraised you. You've got recognition and victory with the Six of Wands. There could also be promotions. So you might be getting a, a raise. So the balance of the money is coming in. If you wanted an, a job or you wanted a different job or a rise, a promotion, your wish could is coming in too. Like I said, this card also means onwards and upwards, victory, recognition, going on holiday or moving home. So you could be buying a new home. Perhaps that was your wish and perhaps you didn't have the financial aid here, but now you do. As you've got two cards, uh, three cards really, e uh, expansion. Okay. That's with the Ten of Cups, that is moving home, and also the world. The world is um, also moving home or going on holiday. And what goes round comes round. So remember, if you've done good, 
if you've done good you will get it back threefold as this is the karma card if you've done bad you will get it back threefold as well if anybody else has been wrong done you wrong they'll get their karma also threefold or if they've done you good by giving you a gift or a loan to expend uh, or move home they will get it back threefold too you might be taking your f relationship uh, up to the next level perhaps this is the uh, wedding uh, reception you might be like I said celebrations and reunions with family and friends you might get a promotion so you'll be celebrating that with family and friends as well something is coming full circle okay an ending to difficulties and new beginnings again you will get news and as you have the ace of swords and that is also victory the truth is coming out if you are in a judicial situation and you had to de defend yourself then the truth will come out the world is your oyster you're right on top of the world and you are in balance at the end of the week you might even start a new study as the swords stands for justice clarity honesty truth wisdom and communication if you sell something you will be on top of the world because you'll have more people uh, clients um, coming in towards you because you've got the recognition look at the crowd that is surrounding you they love you they adore you they trust you they trust what you are selling because you're of your honesty this news could be cyber news that could come through cyber this could be a telephone call an email and text message so people might be texting you might be networking really really loads of things happening you could be working from home on the computer and you're using the cyber as you've got a lot of air cards and you're going worldwide you're becoming famous now the angel card that you have is salmon pink angel feather treat yourself the angels ask that you take some time out purely for yourself today rejuvenate your soul you can eat salmon you can wear salmon you can meditate on the salmon this is wonderful treat yourself yes you must be representative or uh, get dressed well and feel good and treat yourself so buy that new suit or dress or a pair of new shoes to be sparkling like the star for your company okay then you have number 17 yes treat yourself look in the mirror is your hair uh, nicely done are you looking good can you look at yourself are you being honest with yourself that is what I get to for self-reflection now you've got number 17 and this is the gibbous one self-reflection be curious about your own nature choose to turn inwards to quietly contemplate who and what you are and want the more you know about yourself the more you are able to steer yourself well and always have victory and have an incoming uh, re uh, income that returns and brings returns over and over again so that you don't have to keep worry about balancing your money okay the more you know about yourself the more you are able to steer your self well and know which path to take now what you believe and why know what you believe and why yet be open to development of new beliefs and ways of being
Yes, always pro try to learn and be on top of the world so you, you can believe in your product and sell it and come across as if you use it yourself every day. You might have a whole uh, accessory case full of makeup, let's say you're selling makeup, but you only wear one type of lipstick because that is your favorite color. You, but you you know all your lipsticks so just in order that all the people can listen to you selling your product and and they will believe you because you're telling the truth if you need help there is plenty of people around you helpful people ask help from helpful people so that ask people to reach out and share your products share your videos if you're making videos or blogs or vlogs so get known do the networking the cyber use the cyber to your advantage well Taurus I think this is a beautiful strong positive reading I hope you uh, it resonates with you um, there could be people coming in like I said Aquarius or all the air signs Aquarius Gemini or Libra you have lots of people around you use it to your advantage but don't be used okay and only defend yourself when you think you need to to get to the truth so you might be getting official news it could be papers for your business it could be a diploma it could be a certificate of recognition because you the recognition is there I hope you have a beautiful new start and that your wish will come true as you've got the nine of cups and I think you will but there might be a lot more things that you want but you've got a lot of new beginnings you've got definitely three cards that say new beginnings take care stay strong and safe and please like and share